welcome back to Aubrey Books and Coffee. Please grab your favorite beverage of choice and join me. I know I've been doing this one a lot lately. Um, it's that time of year where I like having coffee, like a lot of coffee, cold coffee, hot coffee. I'm coffee all the time. Can you tell I'm hyper on coffee? So anyway, today we're going to be unboxing the Young Adult Bookish Box for August. Once again, I took a little sneak peek just to make sure because I know shipping is a problem uh, lately for everybody and trying to get things on time. So I want to make sure I'm doing the correct month for you guys. So looking into our little brochure here, it looks like the young adult box theme is Curse Breakers. Bum, bum, bum. I'm excited. So let's dig in, moving our little uh, packing goodies here. First item I'm going to grab, if I can get a hold of it. Ooh, High Lady Tapestry. Okay, I already know I'm going to keep this. I don't do tapestries normally, but it's Sarah J. Mass. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is so silky. I'm having a hard time gripping it. It's very, uh, very sheer. Oh, wow. Look at that, you guys. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's beautiful. It says, one of our all-time favorite curse breakers makes for a stunning work of art featuring Feyre from Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. Oh, it was designed, it looks like, by at V-E-T-Y-Y-R. Oh my gosh, you did a great job, Viter. Oh my goodness, I'm going to have to find a place to put that. Obviously, it won't go on my bookshelves, but I do have a wall over here, so I may have to do that. I may have to think about doing that. Right now, all that's there is my light switch and a portrait of the family that my daughter actually drew. Um, I may have to add. <laughs> I wonder... Uh, I wonder if everybody else in the house will be okay with that. Hmm. I wonder if I'm going to care. <laughs> so moving on. Oh, next it looks like a little baggie, and it's going to be our next weapon bookmark. You know, I've been collecting those, so I'm excited to see. Ooh, this one looks like black matte, and it says these hollow vows. Okay, if I can grip it, these hollow vows. And there's the actual sword. It's a stunning looking sword. And it says, this next dagger in our series was designed by Ad Cass Berry. We're featuring Bree's dagger from these hollow vows by Lexi Ryan. Okay, there you go. Oh, that's pretty. And of course, I'm keeping that. <laughs> then it looks like we've got our candle. I'm excited for when October's candle gets here because I'm a Scorpio. So I'm excited to see what they give for Scorpio. Um, there's the art for it. And smell wise. Oh, wow. That's, um, mm, almost smells, okay, you guys are totally going to make fun of me, <laughs> but it smells like uh, back in my day when I was younger, back in my day, um, there were these little uh, toys you could get, like strawberry shortcake and stuff like that, and they always had kind of a fruity smell to them. That's actually what this reminds me of. Um, it says, in our Zodiac Candle Collection, um, artwork by at Avandel Art, featured Stolis from The Kingdom of Runes by Audrey Gray, um, and it looks like White Sage and Lavender are the scents that are in this candle. So it'll be up for grabs. It's not my smell, but I think it is lovely, and I think you guys would like it. Um, then we move on to the next... Ooh, okay, okay, I don't, 
know exactly. I mean, obviously it's a tote bag, but let's see. Oh, wow. We've got straps for days. <laughs> oh, wow. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Very, very pretty. And it says the curse breaker. It's got the tattoo and wow. Okay. And it's a kind of, um, oh, what do they call that meshy material? Um, canvas. <laughs> it's a canvas material. Um, okay. It says, please note that a scream is acceptable when you unbox this item. Fine. Eee! <laughs> We won't judge. Liz from at Doom and Bloom Studios did the artwork for the natural colored tote bag. This is again Feyre from the Akatar series. Oh, so I'm sorry, guys. I am keeping it. I know I don't need another tote bag, but it's Feyre. <laughs> I love my Sarah J. Mass. This is just a really good Sarah J. Mass kind of box, I think. And then next. Another print album. Okay. I haven't filled up the previous one, but. Oh, that's right. They were sending out um, reprints because they said the previous one had a misprint on it. Um, trying to see. Oh, they misspelled Stephanie's name. This was the original. And then this is the reprint. Oh, how funny. I didn't even notice that, you guys. I love the Twilight series. And yeah, I didn't even notice that they did a P-H-A instead, or instead of a P-H-E like it's supposed to be. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Well, I don't need two that are practically identical, so one will be up for grabs. I'm not going to tell you which one I'm keeping and which one I'm giving away. You'll just have to wait and see. I'm mean like that. <laughs> then last but not least, we have our book of the month, which I am excited about. Oh, Wild is the Witch by Rachel Griffin. And it's got a plasticky cover like you would have at the uh, library to protect the book, except that it also reminds me of those, if you ever took any kind of medical classes and they had the like Grey's Anatomy book where you would have the plastic cover and it would go over the muscle that was on the main page and the overlay that would go on top of it would be the skeletal system and then you do another overlay for the nervous system and so on and so forth. And that's what this kind of reminds me of. And it says, what would he say if I were to tell him I cursed him? If I were to look him directly in the eye and tell him I'm a witch. That's really cool. And so I'm going to take off this cover and yeah, so that's, that is what it is. And then the actual artwork itself printed on the book. That's beautiful. And then we've got some beautiful stenciled edges, you guys. Look at that, like a quill. Oh, this is so pretty. And then you open it up and it's got the artwork. I do love artwork in there. Even if it's a repeat on both sides, I just love that. I just think that makes, kind of adds some elegance to the book. And then of course, it is signed. So once again, I'm very excited. This was a very lovely box. Thank you, Bookish Box. And it looks like the sneak peek for the September one. Um, it doesn't say a theme on here, but the artwork has me intrigued. I cannot wait to see what they're gonna give us in September. <laughs> Well, for September's box, it's October, but you know what I mean. Thank you guys so much. Like, subscribe, send your friends, and I'll see you next time.